My fitness and health story as I knew it was over. I never thought that I would get hurt like this. And I would think to myself, but I'm so educated and trained to know how to train and what to do for myself, right? Not necessarily. As hard as I try to do everything right, always have the best form, progress safely and efficiently, sometimes things just happen, and for whatever reason. Everything I had accomplished and the point where I had gotten to was gone. It needed to be done. I needed to let my body heal. I needed to get rid of all of the pain. I needed to teach my body how to function better and efficiently. I needed to learn from my injuries and work my way back up. I had to start from scratch. I have a, well I had hopefully, a bulged disc in my low back and I had uh, have arthritis in it, which is so crazy because I'm so young. It's most likely a postural thing, standing for long periods of time training and just over time. Um, it's honestly crazy to believe that I got it because it's kind of upsetting, but here I am in this pickle um, about a year and a half, two years later that I have this now and nothing was working for so long and then now I'm in this program that's been like so great. I've been doing it for so long. I've been doing it since uh, January and it's uh, the beginning of August now and I've progressed. I've been doing well. I just really want like to work out, like to actually work out. What I do now, it's just like um, corrective work, like basic stuff, which is great, except I don't really find it that fun. I'm used to uh, like pushing cars and stuff, like hard workouts. Well, really intense exerting ones, but maybe it was time for me to take it slow. My joints are pretty mobile, hypermobile actually. I have a lot of stabilizing work I have to do to make sure that everything stays in place. I just had like one of the hardest workouts that I've done in this program, so like as I did the first round, I was like, oh, what's going on? And I was like super exhausted by the first round. Okay, just finished that workout. I did three sets of each exercise and then I did the airdyne. 10 calories in between each one, so six times on the airdyne. And I feel like it went pretty well. That's where I'm at with that. Sometimes I'll do that as like my higher intensity days. And yeah, I've been definitely getting better at it. I love the Aerodyne, so I'm hoping to get back to it, like, later down the road when I feel better. My back felt pretty okay during it, and I am doing better with tracking my food. My main goal is to just get my back to not having pain at all, and being able to basically do stuff that I used to do, and strength, but like pain relief is really the main one, and then lose fat, which is so hard. but. I'm working on it. It's been a year and four months into my rehab program, and it's been a long journey. Starting from scratch was one of the hardest things I had to come to terms with. All I want is to be able to be back to how things used to be and everything I was able to do. I feel like that's a normal feeling for anyone, and of course it's valid. I know now I won't get back to there, and that's a good thing. I was not functioning to my greatest abilities. I was working against my body as hard as I tried to make it better. I will become so much better, more optimal and better functioning, more than I've ever been. Did I think that when I started all of this? No. But I like to think that all of this happened for a reason. Even though I have a long way to go, I am better now than I ever was. I am a better trainer than I ever was and I'm able to help so many more people. I have worked from the bottom up, climbing back to where I want to be. It's been such a long road and I'm not even close to where I want to be or need to be, but I'm proud of myself for continuing to push through. Did I want to give up? Of course. Did I hate doing all of the exercises that I had deemed boring in my mind? Totally. But do I know it was all for the better? You bet. I'm on my way up. Nothing will stop me. I'm excited for myself, and I can't wait to bring you along. 
I mean, everyone loves a good comeback story, right? 